Hello beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with another video. I am, I've had a busy week. My son has moved home. He has taken over my upstairs craft room, which was like, oh my God, I want him home. But it was like, what do I do? <laughs> so anyways, I spent a whole week and a half organizing, bringing everything downstairs. Did not realize how many balls of yarn I had, which is kind of scary because I don't really do much with my yarn anymore. But anyways, so um, that's why I haven't had a video up lately and I apologize. So with that being said, today I'm going to do a Dutch pour. A little bit different though, so stay tuned for one second. And I have some other news. Um, today is Wednesday. Happy hump day. I am going and having carpal tunnel surgery on Friday. So between today, tomorrow, and Friday morning, I'm going to try and get a whole whack of different videos up. I'm excited. I got some new, I don't know if you can see that, some new, this is resin, oh my gosh. And it's a two, oh my God, it hurts. It's a two part. So this is crystal epoxy resin and it is uh, made here in Ontario, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So that's kind of cool. They free, they have free shipping in Canada anywhere, which is amazing. And yeah, so that's cool. So I'm excited. I also, for all you lovely peeps that were worried, I bought, I have a respirator. Oh, I have looked hard and, and hard and hard. Can't find them. This one, it does have the two. It's basically the same as those big ones that everyone else is wearing. There's two um, filters in here. It's got it's all thing, so it might look like a plain mask, but it is an actual respirator. So I'm excited. So that's why I haven't really done any of my resin stuff because I didn't want um, any misleading people that you don't need to wear one. So with that being said, you're gonna have another resin video coming up as well. So I'm gonna flip you down and we're gonna get started. I might take my lovely shirt off so I don't get it painted on it. Here we go. Do you see what I did? I'm excited. So we have half the canvases flooded white and the other half flooded in a combination that I made. I took, oh, I got way over. I took these paints. I really wanted to do this with the um, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. I had none left. So I had a little bit left. So I made a combination of these four paints. I will list them below, but I made this color. So there is Artist Loft Cobalt Blue. There is Liquid X Basics Brilliant Blue. There is Liquid X Basics Thalocene, Thalocene Green. And there's also Liquid X Basics Bright Aqua Green. So that's what I made in these. And it was just a squirt, a squirt, a squirt. So I really can't tell you how much of each I used. And the white is my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow white. That's what I've used there. And by flooding, all I mean is I'm putting paint on the canvas. So with my Dutch Port mix, I am using um, two parts flow trawl and one part paint and um, about three quarters of water. And with that, I'm meaning I'm gonna use like one cup. I'm sorry, I, I took the tape off of my, um, my blow dryer and I forgot to put it back on. So I'm just taping as I'm talking. So if I use a cup like this, so that means I'm gonna use two cups of my flow trawl one cup of paint, doesn't matter what kind of acrylic paint you want to use, 
And then when I say three quarters, I might fill it to about there and pour it in. But you do it in, in bits so that you're not um, getting too much water in it because you don't want it to be too thin. So with that being said, oh my goodness, I put it on straight. Amazing. Okay, maybe I'll do one more. I'm so sorry guys, I should have had this done before we started. I thought I was ready. I was excited to talk to my wonderful people. All right, there we go. So that's done. So colors, colors, and colors. I am going to do the um, Artist Loft Level 2 Deoxide Purple. Oh, Violet Deoxide with Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Me or, or sorry, Artist Loft um, Iridescent Medium. I'm gonna use that color. I'm gonna use Liquidex Deep Violet with Iridescent Medium. I'm gonna try, I haven't picked my colors out, so I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. Um, let's do a nice big blue here. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Let's try this ultramarine blue with iridescent medium. We will try, just cause it's a nice dark blue, we will try um, Deco Art Bright Metallics. This one is the Deep Sapphire. And Let's try a metallic. Do we want, oh, let's try a rose gold. Give it a good shake. So this one's Deco Art Metallics and this one's rose gold. So I hope this um, turns out. I just thought it was kind of neat. I've been seeing some people doing a full canvas colored and then I'm seeing people doing um, half canvas cover colored so I might throw this um quadra liquidex quadra macentrone magenta oh my goodness with artist loft <laughs> iridescent medium I butcher all these names and I so apologize I just get so excited and then I just mispronounce things it's you know it is what it is what it is okay so Let's start with our nice, beautiful, bright metallics. And you know what? Because it's half and half, I'm just going to go straight down the center. And I never said my canvases are three, obviously, you can see, <laughs> eight by ten gallery wrapped. So I'm just going to go on the edge and I'm going to swing it over both. Oh, do. I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. It's kind of fun to play around because you never know what the outcome is going to be. This next one is going to be the Deep Artist Loft Level 2 Deep Dioxide Purple or Violet. I just need to stop talking because I just keep pronouncing everything wrong today. I'm excited. Excited to have my little baby boy home, which is nice because he can help me do some stuff. He's already helped me reorganize. I'm going to do another um, basement tour maybe and show you how I organized my, reorganized my stuff. I'm going to put my um, rose gold in next because that's, I've spent all morning doing that. So, oh, and today is Canada Day. Happy Canada Day to my fellow Canadians. Hope you all have a wonderful holiday. We're going to my mother-in-law's for a little bit of a barbecue tonight. So, so that'll be fun. Oh, what the hay, we've got all these colors, so we might as well just throw the last one. This is the deep violet with the iridescent medium. And again, I will list these in the description box below. Come on, squirt out. There we go. All right. I'm nervous, but excited at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna give a torch to everything. Oh, what do we got going here? A little 
drop of gold. There we go. I, um, because I'm having my surgery, I won't be able to mix anything. So I was down here this morning and I've mixed all of this white. <laughs> I have three. So I'll be prepared to do videos. I'm 100% I'm sure I can do it one armed. So we're gonna see. All right, where do I start? We'll start with the middle. Here we go, wish me luck. is freaking amazing. I'm kind of glad I did it up, did the middle one a different way, which is kind of cool. What am I looking for? My torch. Oh my, my. And it gives it such a different effect because when I blew over here, I accidentally blew the turquoise right out when it should have been white in here. But look at that. That is Oh my goodness, freaking amazing. Now this has to be one of my new favorites. I love it. I don't even know if I want to touch it. I might do something here. And just to bring a little bit this way and I'm gonna use I know everyone that my trusty little uh, tubing love I'm just gonna do a little torch where the white is just pop up some of that color that's underneath that we all know is there look at that <gasps> amazing do a little here this <laughs> is gorgeous I just, oh my goodness. Let's see what's up here underneath all this lovely white. I'm hoping there's something here, which I think there is. Oh yes, look at that. It'll come back down, hopefully, there. I am over the moon excited. That is crazy. And you know what? These ones, I am tempted to put some resin on instead of just plain old um, varnish. That is ridiculous. Okay. I am going to bring you down. Hopefully I don't hit it. I'm sorry, you're on my little stand here. Here we go. Like, look at this. Look, pardon my light. Like, look at that. That is just gorgeous. I will be doing another one. 
look at those cells. I love the color combination. Like, look at that. That um, rose gold in there just gives it just a pop. This reminds me of like the oceany kind of with a little fish fin. My daughter and son's girlfriend loved the Dutch pour. She uh, sent me pictures. She hung it up as soon as I gave it to her. Pretty cool. Well, there you go, my beautiful people. Amazing. I love, love, love this. I will be doing another one. If you want to give me any suggestions on what two base colors you want, I would like to stay one base with the white. I might actually try um, a gorgeous purple or something. So yeah, keep that in mind if you want to put that in the comment box. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the like button and hit the bell so you get notifications next time I put up a video. And tell your friends about me. I'm just fooling around. <laughs> so anyways, with that being said, happy Canada Day to my fellow Canadians. Woo! And I will be seeing you. My next video is going to be another blingy painting, but something different. I'm going to put pearls in it. So up next. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys.